Hello everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I am here with a couple of fun little devices. Uh, Banggood sent me this one. I had this one. Uh, you can get both styles on Banggood. This one is running about $9.99 right now and this one is $18.99. And these are commonly referred to as transistor testers, but they do so much more. Um, this style is a little bit different. There's an older style that you can get as a kit. It does have a nice big screen on it. it has these little pads where you can touch components outside of the ZIF socket. Um, it uses a nine volt battery, which I got tired of replacing. So I just connected it to a wall wart. I don't think I've ever peeled the thing off of the screen here, but that's fine because it just goes in a box. Uh, this one is kind of a more put together model. Oh, I should say this one you can get as a kit or pre-assembled. Um, this one obviously only comes pre-assembled and it is a little bit more of a polished product and it's something that will probably not be leaving my desk for a long time because it is just so dang handy. Um, you can take it and use it to test an LED. You'll notice when you look at the top of it, it's got a bunch of numbers on it. It's just a matter of of um, you don't want to put two, uh, you know, your legs in two number twos. You can go one and three or two and three or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but um, you put it in there and you push the button. You can see it lighting up the LED, which is super handy if you have some of the new clear style LEDs. I've got 10 different type, types of clear and I don't know what color they are until I light them up. And so having that is super handy. And you can see that it told us that it was a diode and gave us the forward voltage and stuff like that. Um, it can also do things like capacitors. They're going to take a little bit longer to test because you have to uh, fire the thing up. This thing has a rechargeable battery. I've charged it once when I got it and haven't touched it again since then. I haven't needed to charge it again. Uh, it tells us that this is a 438.5 microfarad capacitor with a V-loss of 9% and an ESR of 4.2 ohms. So we got, what is that? Um, and this thing says 470. So this capacitor is reading just a little bit low, but it's been around for a while. Um, let's just see. So we had, what, about 440 there? Let's put it in this one. Again, you can go in anything other than two of the same number. So I will pop this in here. Uh, I think I might be in two and two. There we go. Pop it in. Like I said, it'll take a little bit of time to charge because it is uh, charging up that capacitor so it can tell you how much capacitance it has. And this one is going to give us 438. So yeah, they agree on how many um, microfarads this thing has. Uh, you can test this as a radial one. This is an older radial capacitor. We'll go from one to two. I think this is a 50 volt. Yeah, it's a 50 volt, uh, 50 microfarad capacitor. Again, this thing is ancient, so we're gonna fire it up, uh, let the thing charge up, and you'll see right here, I will say the colors are a lot more brilliant, uh, but it is reading 63.29, and I actually have a video about that coming up. Um, so you can do other things. This is a three color LED, which is just kind of cool because you can see, uh, or it's a two color LED three pins. Is that in there? I don't think we're quite in. Uh, let's jam her in a little harder there. There we go. So when you turn it on, you get to see what colors the LEDs are. Uh, so we can see there's red and green LEDs going on there and it tells us that that is two diodes and gives us both forward voltages and tells us that we're pointing toward pin two. Uh, you can take any kind of random transistors. Uh, I have huge numbers of them. It won't tell you that this is a 2N222 uh, BJT or anything like that, but it will tell you uh, the style. And so it's a BJT PNP and tells you where the base collector and emitter is and just gives you some of the basic information about it. Um, just for giggles, we'll do one more. I've got a standard diode here. So we'll go from pin one to two, cram it in, push it, and it should tell us it's some kind of diode going that way. Um, so yeah, it's a diode and just gives us a little bit of information about the diode. One of the things I thought was really cool, um, I went nuts the first time I saw it, is that you can see here this light comes on and you can see that it actually decodes the infrared signal. So you could take that information and put it in the Arduino and actually use an infrared LED to duplicate that code. And so that is just brilliant. Um, this one also comes with a couple of alligator clips so you can put them in the uh, zip socket and then clip on the parts outside of the unit, almost like meter probes. But uh, man, you just get a lot of bang for your buck with this thing. And I really recommend if you don't have one that you get one. 
So uh, anyway, I appreciate Banggood for sending me this one, um, and it will not be leaving my desk for a long time. So hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.